Hello and welcome to a VO's Journey episode number 99. That's right, folks, 99. Today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that has become near and dear to my heart, and that is social media. And more importantly, are you on social media? Because I'm seeing a lot of people not on social media. All right, let's do it. This is VO's Journey. With your host, the incomparable Anthony Pika. Okay, so first off, 99 episodes. I mean, that is just insane. I, you know, it's crazy. We're, we're almost to 100, and I put in the group asking people what they thought we should do for the 100th episode, and we had some great ideas, everything from free giveaways on training to interviewing people to shout-outs, shout-outs, and all kinds of things. So I'm definitely thinking about what to do, and, you know, I'm really leaning towards what I can do to help people the most uh, for being a part of, and thanking them so much for, you know, a hundred great episodes so far. And uh, the podcast is just growing. It's really growing. And I'm seeing more and more people that I've never heard of before coming out and mentioning that they listen to the podcast. And, you know, that really warms my heart and hopefully able to help people. So, but anyways, uh, in the midst of all this, I we started a new something and that is Demo Spins. And basically every week uh, I get four different reads from voiceover artists and I my production team, my wonderful man, Andrew, takes the uh, reads and he puts a uh, demo, you know, he puts them to demos uh, and, uh, you know, he adds music and effects and everything and mixes them and turns them into that magic gold that we love with our demos. And then I post them all over my social media and I do this, you know, every week. And, uh, you know, we posted the first one and I'm not calling anybody out, even though you could probably figure it out because they're there, but they kind of sparked my, the, the four, the four (laughs) voiceover talents, which did incredible. They did amazing. All right. Those people, uh, I'm really proud of them. And, uh, we had, uh, let's see, we had Richard Asher, we had a vet, we had Tiffany, and I think we had, uh, Teresa. And uh, those four were the first four people that we did the demo spin for, and they were absolutely wonderful, and it sounds great, and we've had some really great feedback so far, so I'm really excited. But what I want to um, talk about, and I'm going to pick on them a little bit, some of them, but more so not them, but what it led me to start doing, and you know, I spent the last couple of days looking at this, uh, you know, in kind of preparation for this episode. But, you know, as I went around and and posted things on social media, I, I started, you know, looking to tag people, you know, and, and really get more of the voiceover community involved so that we could come together and together sharing each other's content, be able to reach more people, you know, and, and just help each other. So, um, you know, through the collective. And as I did this, I started to realize, and and this is probably about my group because I know you all the, the best, how many people are not active on social media? And, you know, it's it's interesting because before I started my business, I really didn't spend a lot of time on social media because, like, why would I? Why would I need to? I was a teacher. I had a job. I didn't need to. However... I think I was always aware of it because of my students, you know, because of the students I taught high school. So, you know, they were very into social media. And um, as I but as I started this business, I realized how important social media is. And the reason for uh, why it's important to us is because this is the way we communicate. And whether you believe it or not, Internet now is social media right? The internet is social media. It is a social platform, a place for us to share and connect with people from around the world. 
I mean, all of these voiceover sites we go on, they've become social platforms. I mean, in a way, right? Because we are meeting people. We are sharing, you know, things with them. Yes, we're transacting business, but we are still sharing, all right? And we are still interacting and we are still human beings. So that kind of stuff is going to happen. But I'm talking about the major ones. I'm talking about LinkedIn. I'm talking about Twitter, Instagram. Um, most people in my group, but clearly you're on Facebook. But, you know, these these sites that are, you know, like the, the, the big ones that I'm noticing people aren't on. Or if they are, they might have created it because they thought they had to but never did anything with it. But here's the thing. I am kind of appalled that people aren't more active in getting themselves out there on social media. So I'm trying to tell you that you need to get yourself active on social media. Hopefully in this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out why I think you need to be active. I mean, I kind of just did, but I'm going to lay it out more and then I'm going to lay out what you can do. Okay. So first, why? Why do you need to be active in social media? Well, Big reason is that we are const- We are in the business of marketing ourselves, right? We have to market ourselves. We have to get ourselves out there. There is a couple. There are a couple ways we can do that. All right, we can physically go to places, knock on the door, walk in. Okay, we can pick up a phone and call places. We can email places, or we can use the internet. I mean, yes, you can send mailers and you can do all that stuff, but I think we kind of all agree that those are methods that worked a long time ago and maybe for some businesses. But in our particular business, right, you want to, we we want to pick something that is going to really allow people to access us and what we do, which is voiceover, very easily. And social media right now, is the, I mean, everyone is on social media. Everyone is on Facebook. More than these businesses are joining, businesses have already joined the platform. I mean, it's already here. It's it's already well established and it's already here. The question is, is how many small starter businesses from us of the older generation, I'm going to call it, how long are we going to wait until we take full advantage of it? Okay, and in our particular business, we are prime for using social media. And let me tell you another reason why social media is good for us, because we have the opportunity to help so many other businesses through our services that we can highlight that, tag those people, tagging, meaning we can include them, right, which sends them a little message saying, hey, you've been tagged in a post by putting their name in the post with a little at symbol, all right, and and doing things to help their business because as voiceover artists, we are a B2B business. We do business to business, right? So it is a great way to do that. I'm telling you, you know, if I was just starting out again and I wanted some business, you know, the best way to get business, I mean, to start on social media is to like just go through and start tagging people. Find a McDonald's thing and do like come up with like five different McDonald's commercials and start tagging McDonald's everywhere and say, hey, this is so cool. I love McDonald's. Here's a commercial I did for you. I just made it up. Tag them, tag them, tag them, tag this company, tag that company, do whatever you can. But the point is, is tagging right now is the ultimate equalizer when it comes to getting yourself out there. Now, listen, there's there's advanced tactics. You, you We could talk about ads and you could talk about influencers and we could talk about all this crazy stuff that we can do later on. But the reality is, is that we are going to live and die today by our reputation online. It is the way it is and it is what it is. Don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. You got to get yourself out there. Now, you might be a person who feels like they are an introvert and that's totally cool. Right? You don't like to get out there. You don't like your face out there. You don't want to be talking to millions of people. You don't want to do that. And that's fine. The cool thing is, is you don't have to do that. You can create content that does not involve you talking or, does, but, which is interesting because we are voiceover artists, right? So we talk for a living. But here's the thing. You can create content where you don't have to show your face. You can act Create content where you are doing a voiceover. Kind of like, again, this thing where where I'm doing these posts, these demo spins, where I'm getting people out there. We don't see their faces, all right? I'm just showing their names. 
and, you know, some information. And then we hear their voice put together, you know, put behind a really good um, uh, production by Andrew. All right. And it's a great way to promote your services and to get your name out here. But here's the key. If your name is not active in social media, it really becomes pointless because people are going to find you on social media way before they find you your website. You know what I'm saying? And you've got to get yourself set up by participating on the platform. So I talked about why. We got to get on social media. Why? Because that is where everyone's attention is. Everyone's attention is constantly on social media. Social media is designed to grab your attention. We need to be there because that is where everyone's attention is. Doesn't matter if you're a Fortune 500 CEO, all right, or you're, you know, it's your your cousin's little 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 kid. Everyone is on social media. That means that if their attention's there, we need to be there. Okay, now, what do you need to do on social media? So there is no fancy way around this. You need to start putting out content. And the content you can put out is the work that you are doing. Tag friends, tag people. I've been doing that a lot lately where I've been tagging people that might be interested in what I'm putting out or people that I'm interested in following and I tag them on some work I'm doing or some videos I'm making or some content or you know some sort of quote or whatever I'm putting out. All right, I tag people and what I'm noticing is is that because I've tagged them, I've gotten their attention. And because of their attention, they come over and they look at my stuff. And then because I got their attention, they share it or they like it. And because of that, it posts, you know, it, it promotes the post. But I don't do, but, but you don't need to do this for likes. That's not what this is about. This is about attention. So don't focus on doing things about likes. Focus about doing things about getting the right attention. Here's a perfect example. Would you rather have 10,000 likes or would you rather have five likes and all those five people purchase something from you and 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 one person out of the 10,000 likes purchases something from you. You don't need to worry about the likes. You need to worry about the content you are making that's relative and tag people who are you would think that are interested or you're interested in. Okay? I mean, that's a great way to get attention for you and your business. You can start doing this and you can start leaving links places and you can start building relationships. It's a really amazing thing. The more you put yourself out there, the more people respond to you and the more people are interested in what you're doing because we are interested in what people are doing. So we want to know and we are curious. So that is something that you can do. You can take the voiceover work that you're already doing. You can create voiceover work. You can get scripts. I mean, Heck, you could do a script a day. You could do a a five to you could do a ten to fifteen second read a day from you know uh, from episode ninety seven or what ninety eight ninety seven ninety eight whatever episode I just put out about the coming up with commercial scripts. You can do that, and you can put that out once a day, and you can tag different companies or businesses that you think would be interested in hearing it. Why not? You do that every single day for 365 days, there is no way in the deep recesses of hell that you won't be found or somebody won't contact you. The challenge is, is will you do it? Will you do it day in and day out? Will you go down the rabbit hole? That's the real question. So the answer to that, it better be yes. (laughs) You, You should be yes. And here's the thing. Social media is one part of your business, and it should be a part of your business. Now, people would be like, well, Anthony, I don't want to do all that stuff. Why can't I just run an ad? All right, so here's the challenge with ads, and I think it's important to bring it up. The challenge is, unless you are seasoned at them, you're going to lose a heck of a lot of money. However, I think running ads, especially on Instagram, Facebook, you know, I've even looked at running ads on LinkedIn that's good, but I I would run ads in a different way. I would run ads more from the standpoint of you getting your name out there, not trying to sell something. And this is the this is the shift. Too many people jump on social media, especially our age or older, okay? You know, after 40s, 
and they jump on social media and they want, they think, okay, well, I'm on social media now. This is great. I'm just going to put out buy my product. And that's not how it works, right? It, 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 works in a, it works in a weird way. It works now where you are getting yourself out there. You are connecting people. You're helping people. You're putting content out there. You're giving away things, whether it's your knowledge, whether it's your services, whether whatever. And then if someone wants to work with you, they will find you. But you have to be out there. That's the whole point. You have to be out there. Yes, you can do other things. You can add a leg to your business about direct marketing through ads. And there's wonderful things about that. And there's a million of those videos on YouTube. But I have found that the best way to actually work with people and to show them that you are someone they want to work with is help them first. And if you help them enough, they're going to come back and work with you because they know they can trust you. So that's something that I really want to kind of solidify in your mind. You can do so much because we work with businesses and businesses are all over social media trying to do the same thing, reach the customers. So what we do is we help businesses reach the customers. So why don't you do that? Why don't you start putting out content, helping businesses reach the customers through voiceover? Why not? Start with your favorite companies. Start with companies you find on the internet. Do whatever you have to do, but just start getting yourself out there. You could even start by, um, you know, v- like taking a phone. Don't make it pretty. It doesn't have to be gorgeous. In fact, people like things that aren't as gorgeous because we know it's not fake, right? So start taking, start recording yourself doing your work or, you know, do a couple, do a 10 minutes or, or not 10 minutes, but do like a minute slot of you, you know, putting something together on your DAW or you hooking up something or you in your booth or your hobo fort trying to read or whatever, a mic technique you learned or something you were trying out. You know what I mean? Don't think about how hard the content is. We're creating content every day. The difference is, is we're not used to documenting our life. And that's what social media is becoming about, documenting what we are doing. And if you can get that in your head and you can start documenting, whether you write a blog article or whether you write, you know, little pithy uh, things, a little, you know, statements on, on the channels or whatever you do, don't be afraid to use your voice though, because we are voiceover artists. The more we can get our voice out there, the more we will get people paying attention to us. All right, you guys. Uh, I, <laughs> I know I just like did like a soapbox rant for 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So I, I hope that helps you though with why you need to be on social media and what you need to do. Uh, for the longest time, I thought what I needed to do on social media was so hard. Like what content was I going to create? But the more I do this, the more I think, man, there's so much content everywhere. The reality is it's not what the content I should create. It's Am I being too lazy to get off my butt and do it? And that's the that's the real challenge, right? But I wanted to, um, uh, on a side note, also tell you, hey, um, it would be a huge, I would be forever thankful, like a huge favor to me. If you wouldn't mind going to my YouTube channel and signing up, I'm really having uh, a lot of fun putting out some, some videos and helpful videos. I just put out a really cool one about a newer um, voiceover website called um, VO Quint. And uh, I did kind of like a review of the site. And it's a, it's, it's a neat site. I'm, I'm interested to see what happens. But if you could go and, and, and subscribe and, and follow me on my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it. It's, you know, it's a VO's journey. Um, and the weird thing is, I think you got to type in a VO apostrophe S journey. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but it is what it is. So a VO's journey, but I'd love for you to head over there, check out my videos, follow me if you could subscribe. That would be really appreciative. And also for the hundredth episode, I'm still deciding what I'm going to do, but, um, I, I really think, uh, I'm going to, I might, you know what? I might even come out with like a 99.5 episode <laughs> talking about what we're going to do for the hundredth episode, just cause I haven't decided yet. But anyways, uh, make sure you get yourself out there, try social media, pick a platform to start, but just start posting regularly. Okay. And start documenting what you are doing. The ugly works wonders. You might think, oh my gosh, I mess up all the time. I'm so awful. I do. Post it. See what happens. Okay? Don't think you're going to hurt yourself. All right. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. 
so excited about all the amazing things that are happening in the group. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right? All right. Peace. Peace.